What's going on guys, in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to get perfect skin tones extremely fast. I made a second tutorial about this recently and that's kind of long, it's over 10 minutes or just under. So for this one I want to make it real quick and to the point, so let's get started. So, go into the colour tab. What you're going to need to do is create a new node and use this form of secondary correction which is the qualifier, which is this icon here. Click this icon, then select anywhere in the face. You can see it doesn't do anything, so click the highlight tool and you can see what you're working with. Then use these qualify options to clean up the image to try and get the most skin tones possible. So for me, I'm gonna quickly do this. I'm gonna denoise the image, I'm gonna clean the blacks, and that seems to be good enough for a couple of seconds, so we're gonna go with it. Next, click the highlight tool off so you can see around the image. Then you can use either the color wheels to adjust the face and the skin tone, or you can use the curves, which are here. Use hue versus hue, or you can use any of the other curves. So me personally, I like to use the color wheel, so I'm gonna adjust the skin tones via the color wheels. I'm gonna brighten up the image a bit, brighten up his face, adjust the skin tones more, before, after, before, after. Then we can throw a quick LUT on there from my uh, custom preset pack. Then I'm gonna go back and adjust the skin tones a bit more so it fits more of the image. Brighten up, saturate, desaturate a little bit. And before, after, much better. Next example, bam. The second secondary correction we're gonna to do to perfect skin tones is we're gonna to go to the power window, which is here. Click the circle tool, go towards the face, Select around the face as much as you can, as best as you can. Then go to the tracker tool, which is here. Click this button to track forward, and it's gonna track the face in real time. Once that's been completed, then you can click the highlight tool, go down here to select the power window, and just clean up the power window a little bit. So select it, make sure it's around the face, and adjust the face. Adjust the feathering a little bit. Turn highlight off. Go down here, turn power window off, and now you can start to adjust the image. And now you can see I'm affecting the face. I'm gonna quickly adjust the skin tones, just by eye. Of course you can use vector scopes and etc. but we're gonna do this by eye. Before, after, before, after. We could even throw in, again, another preset. I can go back in, I can adjust the skin tones to make it fit the image better. Before, after, before, after. Simple. If you like this video, guys, share, subscribe, comment, and like. If you found this tutorial useful, let me know in the comments below. If you want to see a longer version of this tutorial, check the link in the description. Peace.